All righty, it's time to rate a record here on American Bandstand. May I have your name and age? Susan Madera, 16. Susan, you have Paul. Let me see. Uh, move Paul up into the top slot here, right, and leave that for your figuring. May I have your full name and age? Paul Gilbert, 17. Thank you, and your name? Melinda Larson, 15. Can we put Mel, M-E-L? All right, just because we don't have much space. M-E-L will do it. Rate the record, if you will, somewhere between 35 and 98. Give us an honest impression of whether you like it or don't like it. And at the same time, if you'd give a listen. By the way, we have something very nice for all of you at the end of this. The uh, Ross Electronics people have the wildest looking little AM, FM, portable radio and phonograph. It all goes together here. I'll probably put the cover on too soon. Let me take it off a half second because I wanted to just... Oh, boy. Tear it up. No. Isn't that a gassy looking machine? We, uh, we have one for each of you. It's durable. Got earphones, batteries. And the whole works. All right, now, let's see where the first record is. Should be a thing called Powered by Love. Rated between 35 and 98, if you will, okay? It's called Powered by Love, by Powered by Love. Melinda, how did you rate the record? Um, I gave it an 80. Any particular reason why? Uh, I thought it was good to dance to and the lyrics were good. Would you buy that record? Yes. Paul, will that record hit the top 20? Yeah, I think so. How did you rate it? 85. Would you buy it? Yeah, I would. Why did you like it? Oh, I don't know. I just like the way fast music like that. All right. Fair enough. What's our average, Sue? 82 and a half. Okay. <laughs> That's the strangest score we've ever kept here. Bing, bing, they just tic-tac-toe. We'll move that up to here, honey, in a second. Let's see if they can rate this one by uh, Pink Floyd. It's called Arnold Lane. Arnold Lane I just
It's called Arnold Lane. Paul, how'd you rate the record? I gave it a 50. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. It's hard to slow down. It'd be hard to dance to. You have to stand there. Okay. I gave it a 70. I thought it was too slow to dance to. You both seem to agree. We have a 50, a 70. Sue, what's the average? 60. A 60. So the low-rated one was by Pink Floyd, Arnold Lane. The higher of the two with an 82 and a half was Powered by Love by Powered by Love. Thank you very much. We have your radio phonographs for you. You can pick them up at the end. That is Booker T in the MGs. That's the Green Onions Man, Mr. Booker T in the MGs. Watch now how you can calm down excited skin with Stridex. Stridex deep cleans the dirt that soap can't reach. In a second, we'll be talking to maybe your favorite disc jockey. Our special guests of the day will be along the Buckinghams and the Who. Right now, let's have a look at some of the people who've come to visit American Bandstand. Don't go away, we'll be right back. You didn't finish it, I noticed. Eddie, I wonder if we could do something. Um, is it, could we look at the girls' skirts for a half a second? Or does everybody stand still for a half a moment? I was in England recently, and you girls are, are, are very conservative, actually, because the girls over there these days, uh, we've got to pan down a bit, gentlemen. I want to see the knees. That's the spirit. Uh-huh. Those skirts are fairly long, believe it or not, by English standards. The girls over there are wearing the micro skirts now. That's 10 inches above the knee. And the Frenchmen say now that come fall, the girls are going to wear skirts down to mid-calf. Now that they sold you all the short skirts, they're going to lengthen them. So what I'd like to know from the girls is, will you wear your skirts down to your mid-calf? Fellas, you're out of this one, I guess. This is a girl survey. May I have your name and age, please? Donna Wagoner, 16. And I wouldn't wear them that You wouldn't? Long. All right. Frank Vanderpool, 17. You wouldn't wear one, that's for sure. <laughs> Pat Chappelle, 16, and I wouldn't wear them. All right. Buzz Longworth, 15. Thank you. Brian Minnegar, 16, I think it'll look awful. Well, I wish you a lot of luck. Jim Miranda, 17. Thank you. Debbie Kane, 15. I wouldn't wear mine any, any longer than they are now. You wouldn't? No. Okay. Tony Hinkle, 16. Thank you. Laura Bravo, and I wouldn't wear them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't ever wear them. Huh? All right. George Foss, 17. Thank you. Deborah Anderson, 18. No. No, uh-huh. Boris Hutchins, 17. Thank you. Peggy Wagner, 17. I wouldn't wear it. Uh-huh. No, Peg. Barry Lawrence, 17. Thank you. Linda McClay, 15. No. You wouldn't. All right. I wish we could, you know, we're transcribing this program. It'll be tape recorded. We ought to play this back in about six months from now. 
Would you like to take a little side wager on whether these... If it becomes a thing, you will all wear your skirts long. You know that. In your heart, you know that. You won't admit it. Now here's news of a wonderful new candy mint for your breath, new skirts. You probably spend a lot of time with your favorite disc jockey on your favorite radio station, and uh, he may be the fellow on the other end of the line today. Let's see, who's on the hotline today? Well, this is Johnny Rabbit from KXOK Radio in St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm sorry Bruno isn't here, but he was just drafted. <laughs> Bruno is your funny little friend. I think you introduced him to me once. Nice to have you aboard, Johnny. What's your favorite new record? Well, Dick, I really think we have a winner this time. The Grass Roots do it. And it's called Let's Live For Today. We'll give it a listen, Johnny. Thank you very much for joining us here on the show. Well, thank you, Dick Clark. Say hello to everybody. Johnny Rabbit and Cake's okay. We'll do. In the spotlight, here we go. I think of all the worries people seem to find And how they're in a hurry to complicate their minds By chasing after money and dreams that can't come true I'm glad that we are different We've better things to do May others plan their future I'm busy loving you One, two, three, four Sha la 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 what you say Sha la 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 what you say There's no worry Back to my road Sha la 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 what you say Don't you see We're never meant to worry The way that people and I don't mean to hurry as long as I'm with you. We'll take it nice and easy and use my simple plan. You'll be my loving woman, I'll be your loving man. We'll take the most from living, have pleasure while we can. taking part in this. Uh, we'll start down at this end, if I may. May I have your name and age? Marcel Portier, 18. Thank you. Diane Bauer, 15. Thank you. Christy Snyder, 15. You. Dan Snell, 17. Thank you, Dan. Whoop, there you are. <laughs> Saw you last week making faces at the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> may I have your name and age? Olivia Villa, 18. Thank you. Bud Schwimmer, 18. Take her over there and lock her in there. And chain her to the wall, whatever. We have um, a very interesting uh, set of guests from England. The Who, as you know, have uh, done very well in the last few months. And they're... I gathered when I was there not too long ago, you, you remember on where the action is, uh, may it rest in peace, uh, we had a, a winner of a uh, trip to London contest and uh, I joined her and her father over there and one of the groups they were talking about the most will be upcoming here on American Bandstand in a second, The Who. Now, if you like a deodorant that won't wear out, listen to this. Kind enough ladies and gentlemen to join me in greeting the Buckingham.
Uh, Denny, would you do me a favor, introduce, uh, we'll, we'll start over here, if you would, the yeah. gentleman, right? That's Nick, our bass player. Hi, Nick. All right, let me switch sides and uh, get out of the way of the man up top. It's John John, the drummer. Howdy, over here. Marty. Or Marty. And otherwise. Excuse me, nice to see you. And this is Carl, lead guitarist. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, we didn't uh, get around to it. Hello. It's a pleasure. Nice to see you. You guys use brass on everything you do? Yes. Why? Uh, I caught you no. with that one. <laughs> no, because it's unusual. You don't hear too much brass these days. Is it a new trend? Well, we we started with our first record, uh, kind of a drag, yeah. and used brass. Where'd you make that record? In Chicago. Where have you made your other records? Uh, new York and Los Angeles. You make records wherever the sound and you happen to be at the time. Well, usually wherever we happen to be, but we're probably going back to New York to do most of our recording. Got to ask you one, one personal thing. I saw on, y on your luggage and stuff that was coming in uh, an Expo 67 thing. Were you there? Yes, we did a, a, t a TV special for uh, ABC there. For this network? Yes. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> uh, when's it going to be out, do you know? Uh, it'll be uh, shown in the, in the States, I think, uh, in ending of July. We'll look forward to it. Is the fair everything they say it is? Oh, it's fantastic. We will be here next week. The people who make this sound.
Somebody to love. The Jefferson Airplane will be here next week on American Bandstand. Don't miss it. Next week. We'll put the top on this show with Kaiser Bill. That had to be one of the most unpredictable hits of the year so far. Now, here's what some modern teens have learned about blemishes and the daily medicine treatment with Clearasil. The Clearasil daily medicine treatment. That's what some modern teens have learned to do about blemishes. Next week, we'll see what a fellow like Mark Lindsay does in his spare time. Our special guests of the day will be the Jefferson Airplane. I hope you have a real good week in the meantime. We'll see you next Saturday right here on American Bandstand. But for now, Dick Clark. So long. American Bandstand is a Dick Clark production.